This is an example of how to use a Quandl Excel add-in to create a data dashboard. Let's create a dashboard showing the performance of all the stocks in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. First, we'll need to find a list of those stocks. This list is available on blog.quandl.com slash useful lists. Now you can download the tickers from the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Let's open the file. And you can see four columns, the stock ticker, company name, the Quanda code for a premium data set, and a Quanda code for the free data set. Let's choose the Quanda code for the free data set as an example. You can see a sample of the columns available in the data set by using the formula builder. Suppose we're only interested in the closing prices and the percentage changes from the previous day. To specify the column for closing prices, we need to append the quanta code with slash close in quotation marks. Let's copy the formula all the way down and label it as quanta code. Let's specify the dates to find the change between yesterday and the day before. I'll insert a new column and use the today function in Excel to specify yesterday and the day before. Let's highlight this in yellow. We need to go to the Quandl ribbon and enable Quandl formula. Now we can create the Quandl formula. Enter Q series. Refer to the Quandl code. Select the dates and remember to lock these cells. Type daily in quotation marks for daily data and type rdiff in quotation marks for percentage changes, and type false to indicate no headings, and press enter. Now we can see the change in closing prices for each ticker on the state. Let's try to rearrange and format the output to make it easier to interpret. First, we can create a ranking. And use a large function to identify the biggest movers. Let's copy this formula all the way down and convert it to percentages. I'll copy and paste the company name beside the percentage changes for a VLOOKUP. And use the VLOOKUP formula to find the corresponding company to each percentage change. We can use conditional formatting to make this even easier to read. It seems like Microsoft was the best performing stock, and Walt Disney was the worst one. If you come in tomorrow morning, this date will change automatically and you can click the Refresh Worksheet button to find the new performances. 
And now we have a dynamic dashboard powered by the Quandl Excel add-in that can be updated every day and very easy to implement.